Hello, it's me, Amy. Welcome to my channel. And we have another head-to-head -head face off. In this case, it's an eye off. Who is going to win? Are they the same? Are they different? How are they the same or different? So if you want to see how I took these two palettes, one is the iHeart Makeup. I bought this from Tam Beauty. And the other is the Too Faced Peach Palette, which I bought direct from Too Faced. So if you want to see these, I've got this eye, my right, your left, using this palette, and my left, your right, using this palette. So as you can see, the colors, you wouldn't be able to tell that I used two different palettes, which is absolutely amazing. But what is my feedback? How did I create this look? Oh my gosh, you're gonna have to stay tuned and see. Okay, so let's get started on today's wear test. We're gonna do one eye, not sure which one, using the I Heart Makeup Chocolate and Peaches palette. Um, this I got from online by Tam Beauty. And then we are going to use the other eye with the Sweet Peach palette from Too Faced. And I believe I got this direct from Too Faced. Um, actually, I know I did. I got this direct from Too Faced online. So I'm going to use the similar colors in both these palettes. And let me put them side by side. Oops, I just put my finger in one. Um, so as you can see, <laughs> as you can see, these colors are very, very similar. They just might be in a little bit different spots. So um, we're gonna have some fun. I'm gonna try to do one eye with one palette and then I'll go back in and do the other eye with the other palette. So um, anyways, we're gonna have a little fun with this today. So I hope you enjoy, stay tuned. I am going to start with the I Heart Makeup um, Chocolate and Peaches Palette. We'll do that on the right side since I am right-handed. So let me get a brush. We're gonna start with a light color all over the base. And um, speaking of which, I've already prepped, primed my face. I've added some blush and um, my lips. Okay, so let's see what color that was. That color was in Satisfy. They gave us a little chart here. We're gonna go in with some Lush, which is this color here. That's a pretty color. Actually, that is a really pretty color. These are going on nice and easy. I'm not applying much pressure, so that's exciting. Um, we are gonna go in with some fine and go into a little bit further into the crease and bring it maybe two thirds in. It's really hard to not stop and do my other color at the same time. I'm usually not this coordinated. So, oh my gosh, what's gonna happen if I get to the other eye and I can't recreate it? <laughs> That's not gonna be good. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with some Luscious. Again, we're gonna just darken up, get in that crease a little bit further to darken it up. These are um, actually blending really well. Hey, decisions, decisions. I'll just keep going along the bottom. Um, we'll go in the outer V with this color called Keen. And then we're gonna take some of this purple-ish color called Nice. And then we're gonna just kinda Spritz that in the little V area on the the outer V. Kind of blend those two together. Oh, 
Okay, dun dun dun. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go in with this keen on a flat brush and work that over the lower lash line. I almost went to go to the other side. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead with the nice, pick up a little bit of that on the flat brush and just pop it on the lower lash line. Holy crud. So look how fast I did that one eye. Maybe I should do that more often. I don't know. All right, so now we are going to try to recreate those colors. Lush, fine, luscious, keen, satisfy, and nice on my left, your right, using the Too Faced palette. So, wish me luck. All right, so satisfy almost looks like peaches and cream. I think satisfy might be a little bit lighter. So we're going to put that all over the lid. I have to say between the two palettes, I smelled the, the peaches and chocolate and it really didn't have much of a smell to me. Now the sweet peach palette, I just want to lick it. it. Smells so amazing. Okay, so we've got this color, um, peaches and cream all over the eye, which is what I was trying to do with the color Satisfy. Now we're gonna go in with the color Georgia, which is similar to Lush. I think I'm having fun with this video. I've never done this before. Then we're gonna go in with some puree, which looks to be as close to the color fine. And we are going to go two thirds of the way in and in the crease. Super yum looks similar to Luscious. Oops, I just went in a puree again. So we're gonna take some Super Yum and darken up this crease. Keen looks very close to Charmed, I'm sure. So we will use that in the outer V. And then to darken it up, uh, looks like Talk Derby to me is similar to Nice. So we're just gonna darken up a little bit this outer V. Now the Talk Derby to me looks a little bit more pigmented than um, the Nice. So I may need to go back in with some Nice and darken this side up a little bit. Um, going back with the Charmed, I'm sure. We're gonna go the lower lash line. And then we're gonna grab some Talk Derby to me. For a fun pop of color on the inner waterline, um, I'm gonna use Makeup Geek Full Spectrum, and this color is in Mint. To help with the staying power of Mint, I'm gonna go back in with, pick up this green here. This one is called Chalk. I don't know why. On a flat brush, and we're just going to put that lightly over the eyeshadow, lightly over the eyeliner. All right, I'm gonna clean that brush. Now we're going to a Sweet Peach palette and picking up Bless Her Heart, <laughs> which I love that saying. 
I think I used that last night, as a matter of fact. Patting bless her heart over the waterline. And there's our little pop of color. Now we'll go ahead and do some eyeliner. So the eyeliner we're gonna use is e.l.f. and this is in charcoal. On the lower lashes, we'll go in with the Catrice Glam and Doll Volume Mascara and Waterproof. And then we're gonna use my newest fun mascara called Lash Intensity by Mary Kay. I already curled my eyelashes off camera with my favorite lash curler by Tarte. Not only is it beautiful, it actually works better than any other one I've ever used. All right, so I'm gonna go fix this lovely mop and um, come back and give you my thoughts. See you in a minute. Thank you so much for watching this video today. So I use the chocolate and peaches on my right eye. And so I wanted to see how did it do against the, and I have this upside down, hello, the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. So what are my thoughts? Um, A, this one, the chocolate and peaches palette had less fallout than the Sweet Peach palette did. They both have cute packaging, although the Sweet Peach palette is cuter, just saying. When you open up the palettes, mm -mm -mm, they are almost identical in colors. And um, you get a little card here for the names where the names um, are actually here on the palette. Um, pluses and minuses of both. I mean, I think that little card is cute and all, but I rather, I do like the names there. But that's just a tiny preference. Um, the mirror on the inside of the Sweet Peach is tiny versus that actually you could travel with. Um, I mentioned the fallout. So the fallout on the Too Faced Peach Palette is more. I did knock the brush, excuse me, I did tap the brush on the edge of the Too Faced palette to get off the excess. I did not have to on the Chocolate and Peaches palette. As far as smell goes, the smell is fine on the um, Chocolate and Peaches palette. Actually, I have these backwards compared to how I put them on my face. Um, I love, love, love the smell of the Too Faced Peach Palette. It makes me want to lick it, which I know I shouldn't be licking my eyeshadow. I should be applying it. But it does have a nice fresh scent for on your face. Um, again, the chocolate and peaches really don't doesn't have a um, smell, so to speak. But I think both package, packages are cute. So, um, I put both on my eyes again. I had the chocolate and peaches on my right eye and I had the Too Faced peach palette on my left eye. Um, I noticed that, A, I didn't use a blending brush on either of them. I wanted to see how they blend without actually grabbing an extra blending brush. And as you can see, they both blended very well. Um, the color in Talk Derby to me was slightly more pigmented than the color Nice. So that was a, a small, tiny difference. Um, I actually, if I had my choice to purchase these again, I probably would go with the Chocolate and Peaches. Again, it has less fallout. The mirror is really big, so for traveling, that's nice. I didn't have to blend. I didn't have to worry about fallout. Um, but if you like name brands and you enjoy higher end products and having a name, um, then I guess the Too Faced is great to have a name. But the Chocolate and Peaches um, for by the Tam Beauty, or I bought this through Tam Beauty, is freaking amazing. So um, I'm so glad I did this. 
Thank you so much for joining my channel and looking at these two products side by side. I really enjoyed doing this. It was a blast. If you have any questions or comments, put those below. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice to make it a beautiful day.